Ford 6R80 transmission teardown. This is out of a transit. The uh, flex coupling uh, came apart and destroyed the back half of the transmission. At this moment in time, we're just replacing the case. However, I believe that there is more going on in this transmission than meets the eye. Normally these are rock solid transmissions, don't really see many issues out of them, aside from some torque converter shutter in the vans, but you can flush the transmission and lube guard shutter fix after flushing, and uh, that's taking care of the shutter issues there. Um, but yeah, haven't really been in too many of these, aside from the lead frame area, but uh, so some of my terminology might be a little off, but uh, yeah, let's tear this down and see what we find. Looks like we got uh, some material here. Possibly an exploded thrust bearing. We'll see. Here's your filter. Ooh. It's a little shiny. <laughs> All right. So at this point, you've got uh, one, two, and three Torx 30 screws to take off. And we've got eight more Torx 30s up in here. It's going to be the bigger bolts. The, these are Torx 27, these are Torx 30. You'll see. You just need to take the Torx 30s out and the valve body will come out. Boy, that is some shiny fluid. Holy cow. Getting the three on the bottom. Almost forgot, before you can get the uh, valve body out, you need to pull the bulkhead sleeve out. So, step one, slide that back. Step two, um, just kind of muscle that with both hands and slide it down. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. When you go back in with it, it kind of has a little keyway on it. See? Well, you'll feel it. It will notch in and slide up. The valve body's kind of got, it's loose. See? All right, I'm going to take that last uh, valve body bolt out, and the valve body will slide out, and I'm going to put it on the bench. Okay, that's normal. That, that feed tube seal came out on it, and you just need to pull it off and put it back in the hole there. Okay. All right, sit beside your body here, the torque converter. Um, 19 millimeter, you can pop your dipstick out if you want to. But here's your 7F401 seal. Replace it. It's made of plastic. That is a pump seal. Your uh, thermal bypass valve is in here if you wanted to pull it out and look at it, but uh, that's what it looks like. And this is the way it goes in. So next, let's focus our attention on removing the pump. Okay. Uh, 10 millimeter bolts all the way around. Sorry. <laughs> forward. All right, just got a couple left here. Get all the bolts out now. The bolts are one-time use. They've got these seals that come on them. In order to get the pump out, you'll need a slide hammer. <laughs> and um, I couldn't find the proper tool. It, there's a... Uh, little clamp thing that, that goes around the stator and you can pull a slide hammer on it but uh, I had to improvise <laughs> and it's got a nut on the bottom of that uh, slide hammer there once you slide hammer it up where it's free you just lift up I'm gonna flip it over on this filthy bench here okay a couple of Teflon rings on it make sure they're in good shape probably should replace them bushings in here and stuff like that honestly you should probably replace the pump if you're this far in. I've occasionally seen them fail. Next, you can go ahead and gut the transmission, grabbing that and pulling up. But uh, keep in note the position of this uh, drum here in relation to the case. It's about even. See, a little bit of a drops down a little bit there. Um, when you go back together with it, make sure it's this far down. So that, that way you know everything's kind of meshed in and popped down. 
I believe it drops down into a planetary on the bottom. So sit you down here and get you an angle. Okay. Here's what's left in there, and here's what just came out. Ah, it's a mess on here. I'm in the middle of another job. A little bit cleaner now. <laughs> I'm going to take this apart here in just a minute. Okay, I've got a clutch back in here. Some Teflon rings, and there's a bushing inside of there. Make sure it's not damaged. At this point, I think I'm going to go ahead and make sure these feed tubes are slid out so they don't catch on the center support. I need this giant snap ring out of here using some big pliers right here. There's a number. It was indexed at the 3 o'clock like that. Speaking of 3 o'clock, it's almost time to go home. <laughs> Had to work with that one a little bit. <laughs> Mm. All right, getting down to the bottom here. Yeah, like I said, not too many common issues here. It's uh, pretty good transmission. This is uh, abnormal circumstances. It's a bearing in a sun gear. Probably uh, grab this with both hands and pull straight up. It should take uh, the clutches out with it as well. There we go. <laughs> and that's about it. Last few clutches. Or just one. <laughs> Ooh, how did you get on your side like that? <laughs> that is a 12.34 millimeter nut. That is trashed. <laughs> and now, in theory, <laughs> there's your output shaft and output drain gear. And that looks pretty trashed as well. Thank you, drive shaft. <laughs> yeah. All right, like I promised, I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, football apart. That's what I call it. <laughs> um, there is a snap ring along the edge here that needs to be popped out. See? Right there. This is what you just heard fall right here. It's the shim for the front pump. So I'm going to sit that there. Kind of had to knock this snap ring out a little bit here. Um, you're supposed to replace this direct clutch hub right here every time because the snap ring is kind of locked in there with the uh, divots right there, so we, they get worn. But yeah, this is the direct clutch hub. It's got a little wear on it from some clutches. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Sit that over here, mix it up so I don't know how it goes back together. No, I'm just kidding. Here's your intermediate shaft. Check for wear on the teeth there from the overdrive clutch. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, moving on. Here's your overdrive clutches in here. Um, replace them. They like to stick to one another and cause a firm downshift off on the highway. And, uh, another clutch back in here. I want to say forward. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been in one of these. Just get yourself a manual if you're not sure. Snap ring right here. The clutch has come out. Anyway, that's probably about as far as I'm going to go here for the teardown video. Just wanted to show you guys what these look like on the inside. It's not really meant to be a super involved tutorial, but if you want to take the valve body apart, there's Torx 27s all the way all the way around that you take off and the valve body halves come apart you can replace the solenoids then as well as the valve body gasket always replace the lead frame when you're in here it's a very common failure 
and uh, you don't want to have to go back in there afterwards. The lead frame, I have a separate video for that. It's held on by six bolts um, on the uh, valve body here and uh, slides off the back here. It's this whole molded harness with the sensors on it. Wouldn't hurt to replace the torque converter when you're in here. They shudder sometimes. Other than that, no real issues out of these. You can just, uh, you know, do the lead frame, valve body gaskets, overdrive clutches, and the pump, and that'll be a good rebuild there. And if you have anything else going on, fix that as well. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Um, I know this wasn't a super step-by-step -step video, but I just wanted to give you a general overview of what the 6R80 looks like inside. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.